stability of carbocations well i will teach you the complete concept of stability of carbocations now let me teach you some basic concepts which will help you to master stability of carbocations the first concept is resonance without it you will not be able to learn stability of carbocations we already learned the concept of resonance it is possible in four types of compounds in the first case there is a pi bond sigma bond and lone pair of electrons hence resonance is possible in it in the second case there is a pi bond sigma bond and this dot is a free radical hence resonance is possible in it in the third case there is a pi bond sigma bond and this positive sign represents a vacant orbital hence resonance is possible in it in the fourth case this is a benzene ring there are alternate single and double bonds hence resonance is possible in it this these are the four cases in which resonance is possible if you want to master the concept of resonance watch our video and its link is given in the description now the second concept is hyperconjugation for example consider this ion this positive charge on carbon means that p orbital of the carbon is empty while this carbon is alpha carbon and these three hydrogens are called alpha hydrogens so this ion has three alpha hydrogens let i rewrite this ion here we know that there is sigma electron with this alpha hydrogen while there is empty orbital with this carbon now listen carefully there is possibility that this alpha hydrogen donate its electron to adjacent vacant orbital let me repeat it there is possibility that this alpha hydrogen donates its electron to adjacent vacant orbital as a result we get this structure this hydrogen has lost its electron it will come out of the compound to form a hydrogen secondly there is another possibility i mean this hydrogen can donate its electron to adjacent vacant p orbital as a result i get this structure i write that here thirdly there is one another possibility i mean this hydrogen can also donate its electron to adjacent vacant p orbital as a result i get this structure i write the right here now these three structures are called hyperconjugated structures here let me teach you an easy trick to find hyperconjugated structures number of alpha hydrogens is equal to number of hyperconjugated structures let me repeat it number of alpha hydrogens is equal to number of hyperconjugated structures we can see that there are three alpha hydrogens so there are three hyperconjugated structures of this ion therefore we define hyperconjugation as the shifting of sigma electrons to vacant p orbital to increase stability is called hyperconjugation hence note it down this easy concept of hyperconjugation if you want to master the concept of hyperconjugation watch our video and its link is given in the description now let me teach you the stability of carbocations well we always follow this trend to decide the stability of any carbocation resonance then hyperconjugation and inductive effect for example consider these carbocations we know that this is tertiary carbocation this is secondary carbocation this is primary carbocation and this is methyl carbocation in tertiary carbocation these three hydrogens are alpha hydrogens these three hydrogens are alpha hydrogens 
and these three hydrogens are also alpha hydrogens. Hence, there are total nine alpha hydrogens present in tertiary carbocation. We know that number of alpha hydrogens is equal to number of hyperconjugated structures. So, tertiary carbocation has nine hyperconjugated structures. On the other hand, in secondary carbocation, these three hydrogens are alpha hydrogens. These three hydrogens are also alpha hydrogens. There are total six alpha hydrogens. Hence, there are total six hyperconjugated structures. In primary carbocation, these three hydrogens are alpha hydrogens. There are total three alpha hydrogens. Hence, there are total three hyperconjugated structures. In the methyl carbocation, there is no alpha hydrogen. Hence, it has no hyperconjugated structure. Now listen carefully. The more the hyperconjugated structures, the more is stability. Let me repeat it. The more the hyperconjugated structures, the more is stability. Tertiary carbocation has more hyperconjugated structures, so it is highly stable. Then secondary carbocation, then primary carbocation, and methyl carbocation is least stable. Hence, this is the order of stability of carbocations. Hence, note it down. Now, let me explain it according to the inductive effect. Consider these carbocations. Here, let me quickly revise the concept of inductive effect. Anything that attract or donate electron to create polarity is called inductive effect. Remember that alkyl group like methyl is a weak electron donor. Hence note down this easy concept of inductive effect. Now in case of tertiary carbocation, this methyl group donate electron, this methyl group donate electron and this methyl group also donate electron. Hence there are three electron donors present and tertiary carbocation. In case of secondary carbocation, this methyl group and this methyl group donate electrons. Hence, there are two electron donor present and secondary carbocation. In case of primary carbocation, this methyl group donate electron. Hence, there is one electron donor present in primary carbocation. In case of methyl carbocation, there is no electron donor present and it. Now listen carefully. The more the electron donors, the more is the stability of carbocation. Let me repeat it. The more the electron donors, the more is the stability of carbocation. The tertiary carbocation has more electron donors, so it is highly stable. Then secondary carbocation, then primary carbocation, and methyl carbocation is least stable. Thus noted down this second explanation of stability of carbocations. Now we will learn some difficult examples of stability of carbocations. Remember this trend, resonance, then hyperconjugation and then inductive effect. Let us consider these carbocations. In the first case, I highlight the charged part and I write all the hydrogen on adjacent position. Here is CH and there is CH2. This is alpha hydrogen and these are alpha hydrogen. This carbocation has total three alpha hydrogen. Hence, it has three hyperconjugated structures. In the second case, I highlight the charged part. Here is CH2, there is also CH2 and there is CH3. These two alpha hydrogens, these are also two alpha hydrogen and these are three alpha hydrogens. This carbocation has seven alpha hydrogens, hence it has seven hyperconjugated structures. In the third part, I highlight the charged part. Here is only CH. This carbocation has only one alpha hydrogen, hence it has one hyperconjugated structure. We already know that the more the hyperconjugated structures, 
the more is the stability of carbocation. Hence, B is highly stable because it has seven hyperconjugated structures. Then A, which has three hyperconjugated structures, and then C, which is the least stable because it has one hyperconjugated structure. Thus, this is the order of stability of these carbocations. Hence, note it down. Now consider these carbocations. In the first case, there is pi bond, sigma bond and positive charge. Resonance is possible in it. In the second case, I highlight the positive part. This is CH2 and this is CH3. There are 5 alpha hydrogen present in it. Hence, this carbocation has 5 hyperconjugated structures. In the third case, I highlight the positive part. This is CH3 and CH3. We can see that there are 6 alpha hydrogens. Hence, this carbocation has 6 hyperconjugated structures. Now, according to the trend, resonance, hyperconjugated and inductive effect, A part is highly stable because resonance occur in it. Then C part is stable because it has 6 hyperconjugated structures. And B is least stable because it has only 5 hyperconjugated structures. Thus, this is the order of stability of carbocations. Hence, note it down this example. Now consider these carbocations. In the first part, there is pi bond, sigma bond and positive charge. Hence, resonance is possible in it. In the second part, there is also pi bond, sigma bond and positive charge. Hence, resonance is possible in it. In the third case, I highlight the positive part. Here is CH2 and there is also CH2. We can see that there are four alpha hydrogens. Hence, four hyperconjugated structures are possible. Now, in such case, where there is resonance and two carbocations, we look at the number of double bonds. Remember that a resonating structure having more double bonds is more stable than a resonating structure having less double bond. I mean, the more the double bonds, the more is stability. Thus, A part is more stable because it has more double bond. Then B part is more stable and then C part. Thus, this is the order of stability of carbocations. Hence, note it down. Now, consider these carbocations. In the first part, we can see that resonance is possible in it. In the second part, I write CH2 and CH3. There are 5 alpha hydrogens, hence 5 hyperconjugated structures are possible in it. In the third part, I write CH2. There are 2 alpha hydrogens, hence 2 hyperconjugated structures are possible in it. So A part is more stable because resonance occur in it, then B part due to 5 hyperconjugated structures, and C part is least stable due to two hyperconjugated structures. Thus, this is the order of stability of carbocations. Finally, let me teach you an exception case, which is more stable, benzylic carbocation or tertiary butyl carbocation. Well, we know that resonance occur in benzylic carbocation. On the other hand, we can see that there are 9 alpha hydrogen present in tertiary butyl carbocation. Hence, 9 hyperconjugated structures are possible in it. Also, we learn that there are 3 methyl groups present in it. Each methyl group donates electron. Hence, there are 3 electron donor groups present in it. Now, listen carefully. Tertiary butyl carbocation is more stable then benzylic carbocation because of extensive hyperconjugation and inductive effect in it. Secondly, it is experimentally proved that tertiary butyl carbocation is more stable 
then benzylic carbocation. Therefore, remember that tertiary butyl carbocation is more stable than benzylic carbocation. Hence, note it down this exception case.